One of the characteristics of modern design is the generous use of glass, favored by many architects for its lightness, durability, and cutting-edge look. In sunny climates, these large glazed openings afford a warm, naturally lit environment with reduced heat and electric bills. But life in such sunny quarters also has its downsides, especially in summer. Faded furniture and curtains, harmful glare, overheating, strained eyes, headaches and perspiration. Most of us end up closing the shutters, thereby counteracting the advantages of glass and the reason it was put there in the first place. This problem troubled architects Dr. Yair Etzion and Evriatar Erel of the Jacob Blaustein Institute for Desert Research. Here at the Desert Architecture and Urban Planning Unit of the Department of Man in the Desert, they have developed a new glazing system which improves visual and thermal comfort all year round. The unique system includes this ventilated reversible frame comprised of two glazing assemblies. A clear glazing, which provides a weatherproof seal against rain, wind or cold. And a tinted glazing to protect against glare and radiation. The two panes revolve together and their direction can be fixed according to season. In winter, the tinted glass is turned inward, allowing the sun to heat the interior space while reducing glare. In summer, the tinted glass faces outward, reducing solar penetration and maintaining cool temperatures inside the room. Glass, like other materials, behaves differently when exposed to light of different wavelengths. So it transmits solar energy, that is short wavelength, and is opaque to uh, radiation at longer wavelengths, otherwise known as heat. The sun radiates energy at very short wavelengths, whereas furniture and walls inside a room give off long wave radiation. The molecular structure of glass in a window allows the sun's short wave radiation into the room while blocking the furniture's long wave radiation from leaving it. Thus, heat is trapped inside, a phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. What Etzion and RL's system does is convert shortwave solar energy into longwave energy. It allows the sun to penetrate the clear glass and heat the dark glass, which in turn emits longwave radiation. In summer, this heat is emitted outside, while in winter, it remains inside the room. The project was funded by the European Union, and a window factory in Israel now awaits to begin commercial production. Once this happens, those of us living in sunny climates could finally enjoy pleasant, glare-free sunlight in our homes and offices.